She marries you. I, I have a small Vishuddhi cat. She'll have to excuse my voice. It seems to be going around, I think. <laughs> this is Jerusalem, chapter 4. I see thy form, O oh, lovely, mild Jerusalem, winged with six wings in the opaquest beauty of the sleeper, lovely, threefold in heart and head and reins, three universes of love and beauty, thy forehead bright, holiness to the Lord, with gates of pearls, reflects eternity beneath thy azure wings of feathery down, ribbed, delicate, and clothed with feathered gold and azure and purple, from thy white shoulders shadowing purity in holiness. Thence, feathered with soft crimson of the ruby bright as fire, spreading into thy azure wings, which like a canopy rends over thy immortal head in which eternity dwells. Albion, beloved land, I see thy mountains and thy hills and valleys and thy pleasant cities, holiness to the Lord. I see the specters of thy dead, O emanations of Albion, thy bosom white, translucent, covered with immortal gems, a sublime ornament not obscuring the outlines of beauty, terrible to behold for thy extreme beauty and perfection, twelvefold here all the tribes of Israel. I behold upon the holy land, I see the river of life and the tree of life I see the new Jerusalem descending out of heaven beneath thy wings of gold and silver, feathered immortal, clear as the rainbow, as the clouds of the sun's tabernacle, thy wings covered with rains, translucent, sometimes covering and sometimes spread abroad, reveal the flames of holiness, which like a robe covers and like a veil of seraphim, in flaming fire unseening burns from eternity to eternity. <clears throat> this next short poem is from Milton Book the Second. It's a, a paragraph that uh, it's just wonderful. I really quite love it. it. I think it really describes all of us with Sri Maharaji. <coughs> and thus the seven angels instructed him, and thus they converse. We are not individuals, but states combination of individuals who were angels of the divine presence and were druids in Annandale, compelled to combine into form by Satan, the specter of Albion, who made himself a god and destroyed the human form divine. But the divine humanity and mercy gave us a human form because we were combined in freedom and holy brotherhood. Second last one that I'd like to do is called The Land of Dreams. I think we're here. <clears throat> awake, awake, my little boy. Thou wast thy mother's only joy. Why dost thou weep in thy gentle sleep? Awake! Thy father does thee keep. <coughs> oh, what land is the land of dreams? What are its mountains and what are its streams? Oh, father, I saw my mother there among the lilies by water fair. Among the lambs clothed in white, she walked with her Thomas in sweet delight. I wept for joy like a dove I mourn. Oh. When shall I again return? Dear child, 
I also by pleasant streams have wandered all night in the land of dreams. But though calm and warm the waters wide, I could not get to the other side. Oh, father, father, what do we hear in this land of unbelief and fear? The land of dreams is better far above the light of the morning star. cabinet. <coughs> the maiden caught me in the wild where I was dancing merrily. She put me into her cabinet and locked me up with a golden key. Now, this cabinet is formed of gold and pearl and crystal shining bright and within it opens into a world and a lovely little moony night. Another England there I saw, another London with its tower, another Thames and other hills and another pleasant Surrey bower. Another maiden, like herself, translucent, lovely, shining clear. I bent to kiss the lovely maid and found a threefold kiss return. I strove to seize the inmost form with ardent fierce and hands aflame and burst the crystal cabinet. And I, like a weeping babe, became a weeping babe upon the wild. And weeping woman, pale reclined, and in the outward air again, I filled with woes the passing wind. Tissue <laughs> much?